To some people, it seems kids are growing up faster than ever, but that is not the case. Say researchers studying puberty in humans, prehistoric ones, they were able to determine that humans living in the Ice Age went through puberty, puberty at the same age teenagers do today by studying the few known skeletons of long dead adolescents. Here to walk us through this is our science specialist, Darius Badavi. Darius, these skeletons, they don't have acne or body odor that we know of. How can we tell if they were going through puberty? Well, it's not easy. A skeleton doesn't have peach fuzz or voice cracks either, Dan. Uh, but a new method developed by one of the paper's authors, Mary Lewis, Mary Lewis at the University of Reading, uh, can show us that, uh, figure, sorry, can let us figure out where someone was in the process of puberty by looking at their skeleton. Now, I spoke with April Knoll, one of the researchers, who gave the example of that stage where a teenager just suddenly shoots up. It comes along with a change in the elbow, but she says that can tell you a whole lot more as well. We know it's also the time when girls start to develop breasts and boys are going through that super awkward <laughs> phase of having their voices break and all of those things, all the things that we remember, like possibly with horror. Um, so when we see those kinds of changes in our Ice Age teens, uh, we can infer all the other stuff that goes along with it. So Darius, how many skeletons were they able to look at? Right, so uh, it's a great point. Noel said that digging through the literature to find skeletons that were the right age from the right time period and complete enough to study was quite the challenge. In the end, they were able to track down 13 skeletons that fit all of the criteria and go to the museums and get their hands on them, only to find that two of them had been largely destroyed by a bombing in World War II. So 11 in total. And just listen to Noel describe what it was like to study them. That was the most um, exciting thing I've ever done. It was like the we just did this tour of teenage skeletons. <laughs> so it brought us to uh, Italy and Monaco and the Czech Republic. We got to see some of the most famous skeletons uh, in the world, uh, including a young man with the with dwarfism. He's the oldest example of someone with dwarfism. And uh, walking into that museum and seeing him <laughs> there was, uh, you know, a real highlight for us. Uh, so, uh, real privilege. And after all that, Darius, what did the researchers conclude? I think the biggest finding is that people in the Ice Age, 12 to 40,000 years ago, went through puberty in the same way that we do. People talk a lot about uh, all the different things that are different from what, how things used to be done, how, how much faster children grow up. Uh, but as Noel tells it, that finding represents something so much bigger. For me, the most uh, emotionally compelling and the most rewarding aspect of the research that we did is that we're able to uh, give back the humanity of these of these people. We're allowed. We're able to to reconstruct a little bit about about the lives they they led in ways that um, when I'm teaching my students, with, you know, about stone tools or animal bones or whatever, uh, it, it really doesn't help them connect in the same way. And I just want to leave you with one really fascinating inference that came from this work, sort of a blend of life history and evolutionary biology. Take a listen. We found that stuff that drives us parents nuts about teenagers, you know, this tendency to stay up all night and sleep until two. I mean, with my son, that drove me out of my mind. Um, but now we see that there's actually an evolutionary benefit in small groups to have one person awake at all times to make sure the group is safe. And so it's like teens are taking the night shift, you know? And I just, I love that. So the next time you're getting annoyed with your teen for doing something that you just can't explain, just know it might be hardwired into them. And it might have kept your ancestors alive. Good tip. Darius, thanks very much. Thank you.